This is my second live about this issue. The first live I deleted because I was just fucking furious. I was absolutely furious. <sighs> Alright, so... Police came round. I think the other neighbours re reported them to the police as well. I don't think it was just me because if it was just me... The police would never have shown up here to talk to them first. Okay. So. Police showed up. Spoke to the mother. The mother came downstairs. And the police said we've had some reports of people being harassed and things like that. Uh, you know. And she said. The mother said. It's my kids. It's not me. Now. I'm going to tell you why the police are full of shit and I'm going to tell you why the mum is full of shit. First of all, the, actually, the, the mum is the worst of the two because at least the police said, look, keep it down or we're going to come back here. At least the police actually did their jobs, came in here and warned them off. My anger is mostly towards the mother because she lied again. Now... If you guys remember a few weeks ago before Christmas, um, I confronted the mother about what she'd been saying about me and what her children had been saying about me. They denied everything. Them, their relatives denied everything, tried to emotionally blackmail me with how scared the kids were and all this type of other bollocks, right? So... The, the lies went from, oh, we haven't said anything, we haven't done anything, we thought a man lived here. A few days after that family moved in, when I was going to the shop, I heard the kids at the top of their lungs describing what I looked like. They also called me a nigger, so of course they knew I was black. Hang on. Okay, okay, I got you. I got you, man. I'll talk to you in a sec. No, I got you. I don't know why they banned your account, though. Um, if you comment me below, we'll talk about it later. So, basically, the kids described in detail what I look like, and they've called me a nigger as well. And plus, they said, she's fat. So, they knew I was a woman. They knew I was black. Before that confrontation, long before that confrontation, they knew I was black. They knew what I looked like. So when I confronted them about the issue and they basically said, oh, we thought a man lived here, that was bullshit right off the rip. And then on top of that, they said they hadn't said anything at all, despite the fact that there's literal evidence online. And I showed it to them, you know, on, so, on some real shit. It was actually quite faint, but the taunts were there. And you, if you listen hard enough, you have the headphones on loud enough. You can clearly hear the children upstairs saying nigger and all this stuff, right? You can clearly hear them saying it. So these people stood in front of my face and lied, which set off a whole weekend of tantrums on my part. Okay. So even though the, when the police came around, they definitely didn't help. And I'm going to complain about that. I'm going to pursue that complaint. Um, so they straight lied about the whole thing. They said the kids weren't involved. I weren't involved. Now, when the police come around, the police say if you keep doing this we're gonna you know we're gonna come back and this that and the third they warn them off like they're supposed to right but the woman blatantly said oh it's the children it's not me let's be clear about something the children have less self-control they are more compulsive because they're children right and then on top of that, they haven't been sleeping very well because of this, because of shit that they created, basically. So the children haven't been sleeping well. They're more compulsive. They're bored. They need somebody to take it out on. I'm right downstairs and I'm on my own. There's nobody else to come upstairs and beat their ass, okay? I don't have any children to come upstairs and handle that shit. I don't have any kids to cuss them back, okay? I'm a sitting duck as far as they're concerned, so I'm an easy person to pick on fine. But to say that the children are the only ones doing it because they lack self-control is just complete and utter bullshit. They were not the only ones taunting me. They were not the only ones doing it. 
that fucking ponytail golem upstairs was basically taunting all kinds of shit. When I was doing my manifestation work, they were yammering on about headphones. When I made a, a video talking about karma and stuff like that, and talking about karma, she said, I was a little rubbish. Like, shut the fuck up. Like, she couldn't shut the fuck up for five minutes. Went round to everybody accusing me of lies right in earshot. It was one time where I was talking on the phone to another TI. And I hear this bitch coming up the stairs with somebody else and, and saying, oh, she's telling more lies. Like, the other TI on the phone was like, I don't understand why she don't just shut her trap. So it is not just the kids. The reason why I got so angry is because of the shit that she did to me. In the name of defending her family and she knows what she fucking did. The shit that she did to me and said about me to defend her fucking family. I was about family. It wasn't about family when the police came over though, was it? You put the blame squarely on your kids. Squarely. It's not me. It's my children. I didn't even want to report your kids. That's right. That's right. They've got, you've got, my social media has recordings of my interaction with the police, I said, look, I don't want to report the children. I don't want to do it. I didn't even, at first, when the kids started their shit, I didn't even name the family because I, I just didn't want to do it. I'm thinking that's a young family. I don't want to make things worse. So even I refrained from reporting your children even after what your children said and did even after the bullshit they pulled. I was really, really careful. I did not want to report them because I know once you're a child and you get that on your record, it doesn't matter if you're black or white. Yes, white children get away with a lot. They get away with a hell of a fucking lot in comparison to somebody of a different race. But when you get some shit on your record as a child that mars you for life, I don't care what your race is. So I didn't want to do that to them. They're spiteful, our stupid kids, but they're still children. They haven't had a chance to live yet. So why the fuck am I going to call the police? Potentially have an ASBO put on those kids and have that affect them for the rest of their fucking lives. Why am I going to do that? But you as a parent will turn around and say, it's your kids without a second thought, without a second thought. Disgusting. It just goes to show you don't give a fuck about your family. You only care about how you look and how your kids make you look. You don't give a fuck about your children. Oh, she's only a kid. She's only a kid. And yet you're, you're quick to sell them out to the police. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you and the horse you rode in on. You don't deserve no fucking children. There's no way in hell. There is no way in hell. But I'm glad the other neighbours complained though. I'm just turning the chicken. Hang on. Just turning the chicken. Slightly burnt. <laughs> yeah. Just cooking here. The <laughs> listen man they're not raising their children they're dragging up their kids for me like i didn't even want to talk about the kids because the thing is we all have the opportunity to turn ourselves around we all have that opportunity but in saying that oh no it's my kids it's not me they're lucky they're lucky the police are on their side they're lucky because then that could have affected them kids, that kid's his record, that could have affected them. They could have been on a Merlin database because of that fucking woman. But I'm the mad one now. Yo. When I called, the, I had an, a similar incident with the police as well. With another family. I called the police on the family, meaning the adults. Not the children. I said the children were doing shit, but the, the adults were basically enabling it and encouraging it. 
it's the adults. It's always the adults. You always stay in house. You don't fucking involve children in your shit. This is basic shit that people should know. But of course, perps work differently than us. Perps are not like normal human beings. I'm angry. That's, that's the thing that angers me the most. That's the thing that angers me the most. All the things that you claim to do in the name of family. You're doing it in the name of yourself and your own fucking ego. Fuck you. Fuck you. And that's before we even get how those kids are affected. Basically turned right around and said your kids are to blame for everything. How are you raising them? Threw them under the bus without a second thought. And straight lied again. Can't can't even get a fucking story straight. They're lucky the police are on this. They're really lucky. They're very, very lucky. But anyway, even if they are lucky, even even though I knew the police would be on their side, I still didn't want to report the children. I still didn't want to do it. Knowing that the police would be on their side. I ain't got the time for that. The kids are affected for life because of a nice belt. I don't want that on my conscience. Kidding me? Anyway, got to get back to this chicken. Hopefully it's cooked now. It's, it's tough to gauge with an electric cooker. So hopefully this cooking's, this cooking's done. I want to thank Manavala7 for joining me. Uh, mate, I don't know why your fucking profile was banned. Probably over nothing. But, okay, I'm glad you joined me. Thank you for joining me. And thank you all for watching. I love you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.